Today, I want to share with you how I conquered TikTok in just four months. And no, I didn't spend a dime on advertising, didn't buy followers. I just executed a strategic plan. Since I dominated that platform, look, there's something you need to grasp from the get-go. I'm not just someone who believes in hard work for the sake of hard work. Yes, I have money, a lot of it. But everything I do, from this podcast to every meeting, every project, every idea, it's all work. And I'm not complaining. It's just the reality of how I've built my empire. But let me tell you something you might not want to hear. The people who control this world, the ones with the real power, they don't care about you. They don't care about your well-being, your dreams, or your aspirations. What they genuinely want is to control minds, influence decisions, and operate in a way that benefits them and their interests. Now, you might think I'm cynical or that I have a bleak view of the world, but it's the reality. And once you accept that reality, you can start playing the game on your own terms. Once you reach a certain level of wealth, a curious thing happens. Everything starts to feel free. I don't know the exact price of most things I consume daily, except for big purchases like a house or a car. But here's the trick most don't get. In this game, you don't make money, you take it. Every penny, every bill in your account is money that, one way or another, you took from someone else. People recognize me everywhere. Some love me, others hate me. But that's what happens when you become a public figure and dominate a platform. Every action, every post, every word I say has an impact. Life, at its core, doesn't have to be complicated. If you see someone with something you want, be it wealth, success, or anything else, instead of feeling envy or resentment, you should try to figure out how they got it. Most people see what they want, dream about it, but don't act. I act. I've always been a man of action, and that's been key to my success. Let's talk about The Matrix. I'm not just referring to the movie, but the system we live in. We're trapped in systems designed to enslave us, to keep us in a constant routine, working for someone else, chasing dreams that aren't genuinely ours. But instead of complaining or feeling victimized, what you should do is learn the rules of the game and find a way to win. The rich, those who understand the game, will always get richer. And the poor, those who refuse to learn or choose to remain in ignorance, will fall behind. That's how this world operates. It's not fair, but it's reality. Opportunity is everywhere, at every corner, in every crisis, in every change. While some cry over crypto prices or complain about the economy, others, like me, see it as an opportunity. You have to be positioned to seize opportunities, to see beyond the obvious, to anticipate trends. So, what's your choice? Are you going to sit back and complain, waiting for the world to change to fit you? Or are you going to learn the rules, master the game, and create your own destiny? At the end of the day, the choice is yours.